Well, over the past few months, I've been doing as much as I can to learn how to forage in uh, the the north, northwest, and more importantly, uh, in, in eastern Canada and northeastern Canada. But once you get up to the pole and you're going to the North Pole, you're going to have to survive on some food rations because there's obviously no food up there. And so it's important for me to get this diet down. And this is the food that I'm packing up right now uh, and taking with me up through Saskatchewan. This is the Komen McCollum formula. And this is from 1934 Richard Bird's expedition to Antarctica. Now, what I have here is a modified version, but the original was, as you can see here, pemmican, fat, cereal, Eskimo biscuits, sugar, powdered milk, oatmeal, chocolate, herbs, worst, lemon powder, bacon, butter, tea, cocoa, apricots, dates, spinach, and salt. So I have that all essentially broken down into this food pack. We've got the pemmican, powdered milk, tea, and uh, oatmeal, Eskimo biscuit. So let's break it open. Now I've gone ahead and vacuum seal these uh, specifically because of the pemmican in here. And I don't want any, you know, smell coming out for uh, bears or anything like that. And let's just follow in order with the Coleman McCollum formula. Starting with pemmican, they originally only had 1.5 ounces of pemmican. This is a pemmican biscuit. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to cover the uh, how I made my pemmican here. But this is a 4 ounce pemmican portion. And they only had 1.5, but they also have herbswurst and bacon. So there's 3 ounces of herbswurst and bacon and 1.5 of pemmican for a total of 4.5 ounces of meat. Now I'm not taking the herbs worst or the bacon. It was I I couldn't find any herbs worst, and uh, the bacon it's just not quite as convenient as a nice pemmican patty. So I've left out the bacon and the herbs worst, which are basically all pork, and uh, I've gone with pemmican, uh, with which is beef. Now you can see I've got some blueberries and whatnot. That's going to cover the exact recipe in the next video. But the four ounce pemmican patty and half of this is for lunch, half of it's for supper. Now the fat cereal, I haven't been able to figure out exactly what fat cereal is. Um, but there's supposed to be five ounces of it. And uh, there is a lot of tallow in the pemmican. So... There's uh, uh, sufficient fat for the diet here, as well as tallow here in the Eskimo biscuit. So um, if anybody knows exactly what fat cereal is from 1934, please let me know in the comments. But I have left those out. The next one up is the Eskimo biscuit, and that's a 10-ounce portion. All right, I swapped them out, but here's two of the Eskimo biscuits. And the reason they look different is uh, I just used a little different fruits and and whatnot so that uh, every day there's a little bit of a change in the in the flavors so that's why you get the different colors of Eskimo biscuits but instead of going with 10 ounces I've decided to go with 8 ounce and these ones I've broken up into 4 ounce cakes uh, because just like with the pemmican half of it's eaten for lunch and half's eaten for dinner now for lunch I've been going uh, half uh, with the biscuit plain and half pemmican and then for dinner i mix half the pemmican with half of the eskimo biscuit in a pot and mix it up into a uh, pemmican soup the pemmican soup is something i learned from amundsen and bird they both made pemmican soup so there's a it's not the same exact meal for lunch and dinner it's lunch is the solid biscuit and some solid pemmican and, and dinner you end up with a soup made out of the two next up we get 3.5 ounces of sugar and that's broken up into br some brown sugar in the oatmeal. This is the breakfast oatmeal. And then the rest is in the uh, natural sugar packet here. I got a zip, little Ziploc bag that's resealable because the sugar is used in the tea and for making uh, hot chocolate with the cocoa powder and chocolate and with uh, just making uh, powdered milk, a, a cup of hot milk. So here is, that's the next one, clam, or which is just milk backwards, 
4.5 ounces. And this is, uh, you know, powdered milk. I mix it with the tea, mix it with the hot chocolate. Uh, can even put some milk into the into the oatmeal. And that's the next one on the list. Two ounces of oatmeal. This is two ounces of oatmeal. I also have uh, one tablespoon of brown sugar and one tablespoon of peanut butter powder inside of each one of these packs. And if you've ever supported the DVD projects, thank you because the, this is the. Uh, this is the DVD packaging. You can see right here how the uh, it's the same size. It's this little uh, plastic film, and I ended up using this to seal up uh, quite a bit of food, including ch chocolate bar and the oatmeal pack. Skipping the herbs worst, which is a green-colored German uh, sausage and a lemon powder. Uh, harder to find. I might get some lemon powder, but for now I have a multivitamin that has vitamin C in it. And so one multivitamin, so I, uh, get, you know, make sure I get all the vitamins that, that I need, including vitamin C for the antiscorbitic. And that's the purpose of the lemon powder in the diet. Next up is bacon and I'm skipping that moving of course to the four ounce pemmican patty instead and two ounces of butter, uh, broken up into little couple little sections but essentially half of the butter goes into the oatmeal in the morning and the other half goes onto the Eskimo biscuit to give it a little bit of moisture next up is tea and I just got uh, two green teas and two black teas that's uh, four cups of tea per day next up is cocoa uh, half ounce of cocoa powder and the cocoa powder is for making hot chocolate. That's about it I could put some into my oatmeal and give it uh, some nice chocolate flavor So cocoa powder for making hot chocolate the only way to drink water at uh, Up towards the North Pole is going to be by boiling your water because the water is all frozen so for one without a stove and gas to boil water uh, you'll thirst to death and with drinking hot water, it's nice to either be drinking tea, milk, or hot chocolate. Now we got half an ounce of dried apricots, and that is right here. And these are, you get a couple of them in there depending on their size, but they're just these, you know, dried apricots that, that you can get, usually in a bulk section or something like that. And dates, half ounce of dates. And two dates are more than a half ounce, but that's okay. I wanted uh, two complete dates, that uh, way I get one with each meal. Next up is spinach, you get a quarter ounce of spinach and I went with uh, dehydrated spinach flakes. And those get uh, mixed into the Eskimo biscuit. So out of every eight ounces of Eskimo biscuit, I need to have a quarter ounce of dehydrated spinach flake and salt. The salt's broken down into a few different pieces. A uh, little bit of salt in the pemmican, a little bit of salt in the oatmeal, and the rest of the salt is in the Eskimo biscuits. And then we got chocolate, 2.5 ounces. I bought a bulk semi-sweet chocolate and melted it down and cut up individual 2.5 ounce pieces. And the chocolate uh, can be used just as a snack. Um, I can use it to make a more rich hot chocolate. I could put chocolate into my oatmeal to make a chocolatey oatmeal um, but really this is just this is the this is the dessert out of the whole meal so just a quick overview starting with the drinks you got four teas some hot chocolate some hot milk for breakfast you got oatmeal with your multivitamin and some butter lunch you're putting some butter on your biscuit half a half your biscuit and you're having half the pemmican and probably some uh, apricots and one date. And then for dinner, doing a pemmican and Eskimo biscuit soup mixed together with the remaining butter. You probably get a couple apricots and one date with supper. Drinking some tea and hot chocolate and topping it off with your dessert of chocolate bar. Total weight on the pack is one pound and let's be generous to say 12 ounces that is 28 ounces total 
So for a 30 day period, that's 840 ounces or 52 and a half pounds. And for getting to the North Pole for a three month journey, we're looking at 157 pounds worth of food.